I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. Welcome, this is uh, the Truth and Spoil of Blast, and I wanted to bring a video today to start exposing some of the uh, disinformation agents who are actually working for the Illuminati or the uh, New World Order. Okay. And their basic goal is to keep you chasing your tail. That's basically what they do. You just run in circles chasing ghosts and false information and I'm gonna expose at least some of this disinformation and some of these people who are spreading this disinformation and this misinformation and this plain old bullshit and false reporting on stories <clears throat> alright uh, first I'll read um, from the gospel Matthew chapter 7 verses 15 through 20 be aware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hung down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. By their fruits, we shall know them. This is what the gospel is telling us. <clears throat> and I can tell you, their fruits are not good. They are evil fruits. You shall know them by their fruits. By their ideas. Now many of you will stand up I'm just going to say this before I start exposing them. Many of you will stand up and say, well, they have good information, and, uh, you know, they're doing um, they're doing good thing to the uh, truth movement, and they're exposing the Illuminati, and really, they're not exposing the Illuminati at all. At all. The Illuminati wants you to know that there's a new world order. That's what most of you don't understand. They don't care if you know about the... No Illuminati. As long as you're, as long as you're getting it and learning about it from them, they don't care if you're learning it from them, because they're going to use the theory of the New World Order to bring about it, to bring about the New World Order. They're going to criticize the New World Order to bring about the New World Order, and that's what you need to understand. All these shows are working against you and leading you astray, chasing your own tail. <laughs> Alright, uh, first one I'll get into would be, of course, Alex Jones. This one should be the most obvious out of any of you, or out of any disinformation I'll tell you, although I'm not going to get into much, I'll open that up in later videos. <clears throat> Alex Jones basically goes around and fear mongers, he tells you the elite is going to kill 90% of the world's population, and that the military is going to drag all the United States citizens and put them in FEMA camps, and that they're going to do this around the world too, which is a lie. He's, he's fear-mongering. He's telling you all this stuff that's not even true. He's just getting you scared. He's been doing this since the 90s. I mean, he fear-mongered about Y2K. That's another thing. What about his Y2K broadcast? He was scare scaring everyone, just like the Illuminati wants. They want you to fear them, and only fear God. Don't fear them. Don't fear anything that is created. That's dumb. So he fear-mongers, and he gives no, he gives no solutions. I mean... I mean, he has, he has millions of listeners, and what does he decide to do? Google bombs. Yeah, yeah, that'll get him. Keep searching in the same thing on Google, and that will really wake people up. Just, you know, hit it in dozens of times every day. 
which he only does those Google bombs to promote his own websites. It's obvious. <clears throat> and another thing, why do you think he appears on the TV? On the television? Anyone who appears on the television is safe and controlled. Okay? That's what you need to understand. He appears on the television and he gets way too much credibility for that. Or, in my opinion, that makes him less credible. But he appears on the television and he goes on places like CNN and Fox News and, you know, Piers Morgan and he just fear mongers and screams like a lunatic. He does that on a show, too. He's not a legitimate researcher. He screams, and he fearmongers, and he gets you scared, and he yells about 20 different conspiracies in one minute. Look at that Piers Morgan interview. He didn't accomplish anything there. He got the sheep to go back into their, into their quilts fast asleep. That's what he did. <clears throat> Which brings me to another point. He goes on the television, he fear mongers, he, you know, makes us look bad. This is what my point is. He makes us look bad. He makes the truth movement basically look bad. You know, you get some lunatic and men someone that's mental going on Piers Morgan and just making a joke out of himself. Making a joke out of 20 conspiracies all in 5 minutes when he shouts them all at Piers Morgan. He's not helping us at all. And finally, er, and also I want to get into, he uh, goes on about Bilderberg and, you know, the CFR and the Trilateral Commission. I mean, what, what a joke. What, what a joke. Yes, the CFR, Council on Foreign Relations, is who controls this country and who picks the president. The same with the Bilderberg. But they don't control the world. That is just ridiculous. Not every, this is what you need to understand. Not every single member of the CFR is a Illuminist. Illuminism infiltrated all of these organizations. And I'm not talking about the Bavarian Illuminati, as many of you have been led astray in looking at. I'm just talking about Illuminism. Illuminati was long way before Adam Weishaupt ever was born. But that's another video. <clears throat> so he doesn't really... He points the fingers at ghosts, basically. Most Bilderbergers and most members of the CFR are not Illuminist. At the highest degrees, yes, they are. But, you know, what has infiltrated this country has been 1. Scottish Freemasonry 2. The Orc Rite of Freemasonry, which would be French and 3. The Vatican and 4. Zionism That is what infiltrated this country. Nothing else. Everything else has been infiltrated by those con those organizations. And if you trace those organizations back to how they started, then you'll start getting at the truth. Alright, that's uh, it for Alex Jones. I have a lot to go here. Now, I'll, actually, I'll just move on to Mark Dice. I wasn't planning on this. But I'll brief on Mark Dice for a second. He he actually started criticizing Alex Jones, and um, they had a you know they went back and forth. Now, I expose this in a video. Although Mark Dice got his subscribers to flag that video, so it's not up yet or not now. I think flags go away after a while, but uh. But yeah, like Alex Jones, Alex Jones is just conspiracy entertainment. That's why it's called the Alex Jones Show. Same with Mark Dice. He's just a, he's just entertainment. Um, and he he buried the hatchet with Alex Jones. He wrote on his Facebook, "I'm going to, you know, we're working together now." 
And so he's clearly a shill. He doesn't expose anything. He attacks William Cooper in his book. Or he attacks Behold the Pill Horse, Behold the Pill Horse by William Cooper. And he's really just a comedian, um, to be honest. Alright, I'm not going to spend much time on him. I wasn't planning on going into him anyways. Uh, I'll go into Adam Kokesh now. He's also linked to Alex Jones. Um, he, he basically, you know, he was doing that gun rally. Everyone, as soon as he did that, everyone just said, you're an idiot. Why are you doing a gun rally? Or a mar mar march on Washington. That will go nowhere. You know? Yeah, we're just going to go around the Capitol building. And it was just to make a gun enthusiastics look crazy. Basically. And he's linked to Alex Jones. He gets, uh... Same with Alex Jones. Alex Jones goes and gets arrested. And makes an ass of himself. And this is what Adam Kokesh was doing. Now, when he got arrested recently, I think he's going to get released. Personally. I think it's just a scam. So he can get more money, and so people think he's legit, because Alex Jones got arrested or originally. He basically just a distraction, um, and all of these people, Adam, like Adam Kokesh, you know, Alex Jones actually goes into the Bilderberg and stuff like that, which, but they all just blame the U.S., blame the U.S. for everything. Actually, I'll go into that in another disinformation agent. But I'll end Adam Kokesh there. He's just a distraction. Yeah. Honestly, I've never even heard Adam Kokesh talk about Illuminati or any sort of New World Order. He just attacks the government, which is ridiculous. Anyway. Okay, now I'll get into, of course, David the Moon Matrix. <laughs> he, uh... He supports, of course, the New Age doctrine. He's a New Ager. Um, and basically, if you search where it is, you know, ideas come from, search for where a lot of these people's ideas come from, you his ideas mostly come back to Alice ba Bailey. Uh, that's where a lot of... David Icke gets his ideas. Some other ideas will trace back to H.P. Blavatsky. Um, H.P. Blavatsky was a 32nd degree Freemason of the Grand Orc Rite of Freemasonry. And she, the book she wrote, uh, she wrote a book, The Secret Doctrine, which is her most famous book, I would say. She also wrote other books, like uh, A Study in Occultism. Um, and she says she went to Tibet. Now, the interesting thing about H.P. Blavatsky, she says she did not write anything in these books. She didn't write it all. It wasn't her ideas. She says, when she went to Tibet, her spirit guide told her these things. Yes, her spirit guide told her these things. And... This is where she's getting the ideas. She's a channeler, a new ager. And the interesting thing about H.P. Blavatsky, Adolf Hitler, and the Thule Society, Adolf Hitler, he read H.P. Blavatsky on his um, bedside every day. He read that book every day. He had it on his bedside. It's known. The Thule Society comes directly out of Illuminism, which was a, the organization Hitler was a part of, and Himmler. And all these ideas are based off H.P. Blavatsky. That's where a lot of them come from. A lot of David Icke's ideas come from Alice Bailey, though. Now, same like H.P. Blavatsky, David Icke goes on that he had spirit guides when he went to Peru. And that, this is what he says, that they told me about the whole nature of the universe, and they told me about all this stuff real clear, real funny. This is, that's what he said. Now, interesting about thing about this is that David Icke goes on about reptilians and how they control the Illuminati, how the Illuminati's contacting these reptilians at places like Bohemian Grove, and that these reptilians are interdimensional beings 
coming from their Dracono system. It has something to do with the moon, which I'll get into later. And that they're bad. And that they're controlling the world. And I, it, it seems it, it's ridiculous, honestly. It, that's what it sounds like. Until you go into it a bit deeper. <clears throat> They're not giant lizards. This is not what these reptilians are. It's the same spirit guides that H.P. Blavatsky was channeling. Okay. Now I have to. I would ask David Ike the question just right here. Ask him. How does David Ike know that what uh, these spirit guides he's contacting is not the same spirit guides the Illuminati is contacting? He never. Qu we listen to when he says, I met the spirit in Peru, and they told me I would go on a world stage. Listen to what he says when he says that. He never challenged the spirit. He never did any of this stuff. He just went along with it. Just went along with it. He says, they're coming here from the moon. And that the moon has a bad influence on our earth, somehow. Which I'm doing a study into that, why they'll leave, leave. so I, I, I'm not exactly sure on that, why they believe that. But anyways, context, okay. And basically, this is the same with Alex Jones and his fear monger. I don't really mean to get into Alex Jones a lot, but anyways, he's, he's, uh, he's one of the biggest radio show hosts. Anyways. David Icke, when he talks about these reptilians, it seems like it's basically out of our control. And same with, you know, Alex Jones saying you're all going to be dragged out of your house and shot in a FEMA camp. Um, yeah, David Icke basically makes you think it's out of our control when it's completely in our control. And that these reptilians are controlling everything and they're just going to come and kill us all. And it doesn't matter. Don't do anything. They're just going to kill you. They're controlling everything. They controlled the world since Egypt. <laughs> They've been manipulating us. They started all our uh, monotheistic religions. This is what he's spreading. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Let's go into someone else now. Not spend too much time on one. <clears throat> Jordan Maxwell. Here's one. Jordan Maxwell. Interesting about, thing about uh, Jordan Maxwell. He says he was friends. He, he admits, it, actually. He just admits it. He was friends with Manly P. Hall, a 33rd degree Freemason of the Scottish Rite. He, Manly P. Hall is basically known as a expert in Freemasonry. Okay. Now, Manly P. Hall is not alive anymore. He died recently, which is, you know, when I was talking about H. People, but they're, they're way older. Manly P. Hall is a very a newer one. He died in the 90s. Ever since he started dying, or ever since he, ever since he died, um, his collection of books have suddenly disappeared. And David Ike, or I mean Jordan Maxwell, claims that he is uh was friends with him, which is interesting. Jordan Maxwell also claims that he has these spirit guides. Same with H. P. Blavatsky and David Ike, and I can go on, but I haven't even gone into those people. Like Saint Germain. But anyways, uh, yeah, he claims that basically he felt a presence in the room. He said it was an emanation of, of fear going off. And that he basically turned around. He contacted these spirits in the room. And he basically goes, hey, hey, if whatever you want me to do, I will do it, but, you know, I am, if I have some spiritual task uh, for the world, I will, um, go out and do what I have to do, but here's, here's my, here's what I say, do not sneak up on me, uh, because that, you know, fears me, and do not let me deceive me, and do not trick me, basically, he said that, uh, of course, he, and he thinks that, the it was an angel from God, and that's why there's a holy a reverence of fear off of this spirit. And 
course, we all know that he, well, you should know. The Bible says to take to, to for us to stay away from spiritualism, and it says that for a reason. Now, I also say this: the Garden of Eden and the Tree of Knowledge it was not a tree of knowledge. It was not a tree. It was simply Eve taking a set of knowledge. Same with the New Age practices. Same with Hinduism practices. Same what Gnosticism practices when they say archons are our great teachers and they come down to uh, teach humanity spread hidden knowledge. Same what Scientology teaches. They basically say the same thing, but it was aliens. Uh, they say all this stuff. So we all know that these are deceivers. They're demons. Devils. And the Bible tells us spirits and Lucifer himself and Satan himself transforms and appears as an angel of light. They're shapeshifters. David Icke is right in that sense that they're shapeshifters. But they're not giant lizards. They're spiritual beings. And I'll just add it quickly. That's also what the UFO phenomenon is. It's demons. Some of it's military. Most of it's demons. Spiritual beings. Not coming from another planet. From another dimension. Or from the heavens. <clears throat> Let's continue with Jordan Maxwell though. Jordan Maxwell. So he's basically, you know, being controlled by these demons. I think he's a true believer. Unlike some of the other people. Uh, I covered, you know, what he's doing is good. Well, all these people think what they're doing is good, but some of them know they're deceiving others in that way. Uh, so that's the difference between disinformation and misinformation. I'll wrap up uh, Jordan Maxwell, though. Um, yeah, he's basically in the New Age. Um, he'll talk about the Vatican, right? And how the Vatican controls it all. What he won't do is tell you that it's been the Vatican who suppressed the Bible, the Vatican who's killed Christians, the Vatican who's basically done all that stuff the, that the church, not just the Vatican the church is it has been the biggest suppressor and opposer of the Bible he won't tell you that, he will just tell you no, religion was started by the Illuminati they created it to control you to control mankind and it's true. They have created religions. Well, they believe what they believe. They create religions to... Yes, it goes back to Nimrod and Samarimus. They, they figured out at the Tower of Babel, it's extremely effective to control people's beliefs. Same what Rome found it out. <clears throat> and to control religion. You control religion, you control the people. But he, what he won't tell you is that they infiltrated the true religion of Christ and that, you know, the religion doesn't control you. It's just ridiculous. He will say, you know, uh, he'll mention the solar logos, which a lot of these New Age will um, mention, like David Icke. And he'll just mention, you know, December 25th, how the sun dies for three days on December 20... 22nd? 20, yeah, I think 22nd. And then, you know, rises on December 21st, but we all, or 5th, but we all know Christ wasn't born on December 25th. Easter is also a pagan holiday. Um, all this stuff was added by the Vatican. He won't tell you this stuff. He'll expose how it matches up with the ancient Babylonian and Egyptian and Hindu and whatever. It, it matches up with that. He won't tell you that it's just such lies. Christ did not share those attributes and those gods like Horus and Krishna did not share Christ's attributes. Look up the story of Nimrod, Samarimus, and Tammuz. And you'll understand where these claims come from. Thomas was the first antichrist. Antichrist, not a god. He was, he looked he was looked by as a god in the Saints Trinity of Nimrod, Samarimus, and Thomas, but he was not was not a Christ. 
Um, just study that story. Um, there's a, I, I mean, I can just, there's so much going. Um, and you know, I'm just gonna leave a whole bunch of links for you guys, so you guys can, um, uh, start investigating claims yourself. I really don't want you to believe me. I just want you to think for yourself and stop being deceived. Uh, you know, there's more to say about Jordan Maxwell, of course, but I'll end it there. Anyways, Zachariah Sitchins. I'm trying to wrap this up now. Zachariah Sitchins. This is what David Icke. And Jordan Maxwell, and all these other New Age gurus will get their information from. Zachariah Sitchins was well known. He's well known um, for his, you know, Nibiru theory. Basically, to explain it for any of you who don't know, Zachariah Sitchins is a claims to be a uh, ancient. He's not alive anymore, but he claims to be an ancient. Uh, expert or an expert in ancient languages and he's not I think our, uh, someone who is an expert in ancient aliens I think Michael Hagar um, I forget his name I think that might be it but I'll be sure to link you or give you links but he is not a uh, he sucks at ancient uh, languages. Um, people say, you know, uh, okay, he basically took the Sumerian tablets, which was founded on the study of Babylon, and some of Erech and Akkad and stuff like that, and, um, he translated them. And a lot of these ideas from the New Age comes from him. Now, what people don't know is that a lot of people translated these Sumerian tablets in the, uh, cuneiform. From the cuneiform, and uh, I have to say, it, the uh, translations don't match up. He was just horrible in ancient languages. He wasn't an expert at all. Translations just don't match up. The New Age will claim that he is one of the best, and uh, the translations match up, but they don't. He has a theory of Atlantis, um, the Lumerians, uh, all this other BS. Which can be explained. Oh, this video is already long, but uh, huh, I actually just meant to go over the, some of them quickly. There's so much disinformation that agents out there. Okay, Zacharias Sitchin. He, oh, we all know Nibiru didn't, you know, crash into the Earth in 2012. People are still claiming it's gonna. Um, basically, false translations. His sports Atlantis theory, the Nibiru theory, um, uh, stuff like that, which ties into a lot more. Anyways, uh, I'll end it up by exposing these television shows. I'm not talking about television. I mean, if you're looking at disinformation agents of the Illuminati, I'm guessing you know what the Illuminati is, so you don't listen to the Western media. Now I'll expose the, uh, quote, I guess you could say Eastern media. Russia Today. I'll first get into this. Or I'll just say Russia Today and Al Jazeera, because that's what I'm saying. And there's others. This is just how I can, this is just what I thought of. Um, but these are the big ones. Of course, Fox News, CNN, BBC, Euronews, uh, and the others, they're also disinformation. We all know that. No one listens to them. Not even the sheeple listen to them anymore in the American public. They think they lie. No one listens to them. So let's get into Russia Today and Al Jazeera. <coughs> Now, Russia Today and Al Jazeera, I'll admit, they have good, some good information. No, but I mean, so does Alex Jones. That doesn't mean they're right. You have to judge them on the fruits by the, what the tree gives. Whatever the tree gives, you should judge them by their fruits. And they do false reporting, um, on all kinds of stuff, basically. Now the basic premise with this is in them. Okay, well, Russia today is controlled by the Russian government. It's a Russian state t television show, completely funded by Putin and the Russian government. <clears throat> Putin's controlled by the Jesuits of Rome and by the Illuminati. Okay. Russia is Magog. 
Russia is way more controlled by the Illuminati than the United States is or Britain is or ever has been the, the um, America the United States of America has been the biggest adversary of the Illuminati now, after the Bolshevik revolutions, they destroyed Christianity and the Orthodox Christianity in a country that had over, had over a thousand years of history being Christian. And now over 70% of Russia is atheist because of communist rule. Go to Moscow. Look at the, uh, look at the subways. It's all built from old cathedrals and old, old churches. Look at China. Same thing happened, although China wasn't really Christian. But look at anywhere communism has gone they destroy the churches they destroy the religion I'll continue uh, Russian government is not an opposer of the New World Order neither is China neither is Japan so yeah they take all these stories they just blame the USA on everything and now the people in the USA are beginning to believe that Russia is actually not a threat. Which they never were a threat during the Cold War. It was just a big phony war. Now Russia is a threat though. They have um, a whole Navy fleet right now in Cuba. The Russian army is still a very large army. They can do a lot of damage. Seeing the United States government... And the Illuminati can't take the freedoms and the guns from the American people. The last thing to do is to invade the USA. Or to get these false patriots to start a false and phony civil war. To launch it against them on the offensive. That's what they want. See, because if the government comes and takes the guns... Well, we got the militias on standby. We got the police on our side. Expose, watch my Edward Snowden video. I go into this in detail. We got all these things on our side. And basically, they uh, if the government launched an offensive against the people, the militias and the people would launch a defensive against them, and it wouldn't work. And the government would lose the support of the people, and uh, I think it would work out for us, personally. <clears throat> Although war is always the last resort. Well, yeah, Al Jazeera and Russia today, they do false reporting. They blame the U.S. for everything, which is what all these disinformation agents do. They don't understand that the U.S. government has been the biggest adversary of the U.S.A. And recently, over the last 50 years, the U.S. government has been infiltrated by the Illuminati and by the Jesuits of Rome. Which is true. Look at where all these people go to uh, school and go to university and to college. It's all Jesuit alumni universities like Georgetown University and Notre Dame and Boston College. Stuff like that. <clears throat> you know, I'll, I'll, I think I'll end it there. This video is pretty long. But yeah, there's a lot of disinformation agents out there. And they're leading you people. Yes, you, the profane, that's you, astray. There are the wolves in sheep clothing. And this is a warning. I'll end it up by saying this. The Illuminati, like I said in the beginning, they don't care if you know about this. It's called the externalization of the hierarchy, which was written by Alice Bailey. Well, that's a book. But it is called The Externalization of the Hierarchy. And a book was written on it by Alice Bailey, 33rd Degree Freemason. And it's basically to get truthers and, you know, eventually everyday people to believe what they believe in their humanist religion and to worship them and worship yourselves like gods. Their, study their beliefs study a lot of things Illuminati controls
both sides of every single conflict on this planet. And if they don't control one side of the conflict, that side of the conflict is going to be suppressed, killed, um, you know, exiled, excommun excommunicated, not paid any attention to. If something gets attention, ask why that's getting attention. Or if someone, or an idea. Especially if it ends up on the TV, the television, everything they say is a lie. Ah, I'm going to end it there. This was the uh, Truth is Full of Lies. <laughs> when you find the truth, you will find a lot of lies. And that may be a mind-boggling quote for some of you. But it's true. When you find the truth, you'll find a lot of lies. Peace.